how to remove fake reviews from Google Business Profile part 2 video session in this video session I'm going to show you more options that you may consider using to remove a fake review for your Google Business Profile now first thing in Australia we have laws right so before I take Google to court in Australia I can actually conduct my research regarding the fake reviewer as I've shown to you in the previous video session you can basically find out as much as possible about the person who left the fake review because oftentimes they may have fake accounts elsewhere as well and what you want is you want to you know write their details you know, their name and let's go I'll show you a slower version of finding a bit more image details if they've used someone else's image because these fake account creators they are not intelligent as a business owner such as yourself so remove the portion past the equal because then you'll end up seeing a bigger version of the profile image if they are using someone else's image at that moment once you gather all the details you know snail mail is the best option when you interact with Google okay you can find your details provide the links and actually write a letter saying you know what you're in the process of taking Google to court reason being Google is not removing the fake review after you have followed report review option for fake accounts and so on okay so then what we can do as we can see in Australia Google is saying you know what Google supports the growth of Australian businesses now if you end up finding a fake account using someone else's image you can report content on Google you can see more products and select the one accordingly intellectual property your image should not be used on fake accounts correct so you can follow the troubleshooter option here and follow the steps accordingly and let's actually do something like this let's imagine you have interacted with a spammy SEO services and so on and they end up getting their friends or someone they know to leave a fake review well then Google has different policies for that business profile third party policy and you can then follow this link and then you know provide details about the fake reviewer accordingly okay now let's go and see I'm managing my valued clients Google my business profile as well but what we can do is manage your Google business reviews so this is the URL but you can surely search Google like so using double quote option it's going to take you to the same place let's confirm the email and here as we can see I'm I, I'm gonna select Rankia for the fake review because this is a how-to tutorial right and then I can press continue and here I can what would you like to do with your reviews check the status of review I've already reported and my appeals option or report a new review for removal so this is an option as I've already reported the review I want to see you know what Google what are you doing let's press continue here it says you know what decision pending and here it says no policy violation right so what this is saying is basically Google is not will, willing to remove that fake review right so what options do I have at this moment here it says pending decisions obviously I may actually get no policy violation basically Google is saying you know what they have not found any policy violation now <laughs> that's silly right 
because it, obviously it's a fake review, but Google is saying, you know what, as far as we're concerned, there is no policy violation, but there is a violation. And now I can contact Google and I promise you, I will get that removed from Google business profile. All I have to do is interact with Google with all my research data in front of me. Because you and I both know, both reviewers are fake reviews. And obviously, Rankia is a better researcher than Google, it seems. So, this is the part to a video session. Okay, so these are the options available to you. Follow the steps as I've shown to you. But at this moment, if you end up seeing no policy violations like this, then the only option you have left is to take Google to court. Okay? So if you're living in, let's say, in UK or United States or elsewhere on planet Earth, this is the only option to remove a fake review from Google. Once again, let me wrap it up. Conduct your thorough research. When you interact with Google, make sure you perhaps use a registered post, use snail mail and keep record of your interaction, whether you're sending letters or emails or links to Google and so on, and the dates accordingly. Okay. Once again, remember, you need to be consistent. And just because Google is not willing to remove a fake review doesn't mean you're stuck. You always have options. I thank you for learning with Rankia. And check out Rankia website for more information as well. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.